Greetings guys, it's Stokecraft, and welcome back to another Subscriber Replays episode. Today, we are showcasing the KV3 played by Mr. Bumbleblue. Mr. Bumbleblue uh, sent me three replays of the KV3, two really good damage games, and one Top Gun game. So what I've decided to do, I cannot show all three of the replays because the video will just get too long because of that. What I will do is show parts of both replays, and at the end we're going to look at the replay that I found the most enjoyable to watch. So guys, this is a replay on Erlenberg, and he is going to take his first kill here on this Jagdpanzer 4, which is a really easy target. Of course, then he continues, drives forwards, and finds a Jagdpanzer 2, and um, he is very easily taken out with one shot, as you can see. So now there's this 88 left, and he is going to damage his gun, which is not going to be a really big deal, as Mr. Bumble Blue is repairing his gun. Then when he drives towards the enemy base, he comes across his nemesis, the enemy KV-3, and he's going to aim up a shot here at one of the weak points of the KV-3, the flat armor. After that, the KV-3 decides to run away, but that isn't really a problem, as Bumbleblue is, has a very clear shot between these buildings and takes him out. His next kill is going to be a Skoda. After Bumbleblue is taking out an aggressive turtle gun carrier, he and his platoon mate are going to try and engage an enemy KV-3 who is in the middle of the map as we can see. Unfortunately it doesn't end well for his platoon mate as his platoon mate gets taken out by the KV-3 and Mr. Bumble Blue bounces. Mr. Bumble Blue is thinking about how he should take out the KV-3 but then a surprised Skoda pops up. He takes him down but he also gets flanked by a VKP and this is going to be the demise of Mr. Bumble Blue. Mr. Bumbleblue was assaulting, attacking on the map Erlenberg, and if they don't kill all the enemy tanks before the time runs up, they don't win. So it's all down to the SE-100. The SE-100 spots him, and luckily gets the killing blow off just before the timer runs out. So, they win. So as we could see, the KV-3 is a very solid tank, and Bumbleblue got a very good result in it. In my opinion, the KV-3 is the better tank for people that have just started playing the game. Why? Because this tank is very forgiving. And with forgiving, I mean that this tank can very easily take a very big beating. I would like to demonstrate how much of a beating this tank can take by showing a small fragment in the second replay that Mr. Bumbleblue sent me. So at this point he shoots the T20 and this is the moment where Mr. Bumbleblue gets spotted. Just take a look at the amount of shots that hit him at the amount of shots that penetrate. So at this moment Mr. Bumbleblue has taken around 15 hit and he has blocked around 1600 damage and he only lost half of his health. So combining the damage taken with the damage blocked it would have been killed one and a half times there. The reason why he uh, is still alive is probably because most of the lower tier tanks were shooting at him and most of the lower tier tanks don't have such a high caliber guns. Also why I think that this tank is very forgiving is because of the gun. Exactly. <laughs> this gun gives a really big punch if it hits anything, and the gun isn't very hard to work with at all. With all of this said though, I have to point out that I don't think that this is a tank for which you don't need any skill to play. So next up we're going to look at the final replay of Mr. Bummer Blue, which we're going to look through all the way, and in this replay he's certainly going to show us some skill in the KV-3. So guys, here we go on the replay of Bumble blue in the KV-3. So we are once again on the map Erlenberg, but this time Bumble Blue is defending. He is in an amazing matchup as we can see, only three tier 7s on both sides and there is no enemy artillery so he's going to make full use of this. Normally I wouldn't go to this flank because there's always tank destroyers camping in the very well known, oh my bad, very well known in the location here and there's always artillery sitting at the back trying to shoot you so that's why I normally don't go to this flank in a heavy tank but as this is an amazing matchup and there's no artillery there really isn't any reason to not go here so the KV-3 as we have seen it has a lot of armor it has a very punchy gun let's see what he can do on this flank here 
He's pretty much the daddy in this matchup. He can pretty much do everything he likes or he wants. So it's just a matter of waiting until one of the enemies makes a mistake. And the first one that makes a mistake is one of the best players on the enemy team. And the T-34-100, he gets shot in the face by Mr. Bumble Blue. With a slight high roll of 379. 79? 97. My bad. Anyway, a few of his teammates behind him get taken out. And the enemy already starts to rush down this flank. He is alone on this flank with only a VK and... Oh my god! <laughs> well, that's one pull back easily. <laughs> if you're just going to blow... Yeah, you can't really blow a turret of a tank destroyer. Uh, them jokes. Anyway, he ammo wrecks the SU-100, which pulls one back for the team. And now his team is trying to help him out as well. There's a KV-1 arriving, but it doesn't look like he's going to help him out a lot. T-34-100 thinks he can easily put a shot into uh, Bumble Blue here. But he, Bumble Blue doesn't have any of it and shoots him right through the face. As we can see, Bumble Blue is angling really well here. He's playing the KV-3 like, it's, like he should. Really well played here. And now the enemies are going to make a very big mistake. They know that Bumble Blue is here, but they're going to ignore him because they can't really do any damage to him. And that's going to pay them the ultimate price. They're going to get killed one by one. So now this T-34-100 thinks, oh god, what have I done? Why didn't I try to engage him? So now T-34 here, but he unfortunately gets right into cover right at the moment when Bumble Blue is aiming in a shot. In my opinion, he should have, could have better used a normal aimed shot. But oh well, it happened. It doesn't really matter anymore. Still, there's some enemies on his left, as we can see. T-34-100 is also around here still. He tries to engage him, but well, with little success. He fires at the KV-1 with a not really much aimed shot. It goes into the tracks. That can happen, of course. But hopefully Stalin is not going to disappoint him twice. And no, he's not. He sets him on fire as well as doing a lot of damage to the KV-1 with a high roll. And now the, one of the best players on the enemy team that is still alive is shooting APCR. Well, it's pretty logical. A tier 5 tank. But I know that I can penetrate the KV-3 if I aim in the shots right. And now it looks like he, the shot of Mr. Bomber Blue goes into the gun of the wreck of the SG-100, probably. I have no idea how that shot could have otherwise missed. Or didn't even arrive the target. Well, this 12 ton is... Not having a good time, I think. He sees the KV-3 and he thinks, ah, oh, shit. And he gets absolutely blown away right there. So the Skoda is still trying. Of course, he sh in my opinion, the Skoda could have better flanked him. But he doesn't, and so he gets paid by a very big shot through the face. And now the Skoda is getting engaged by multiple angles. And it is pretty much done for him. So Bumble Blue already has done. 3k damage, which is a really good result for the KV-3. Very good result. And now it's just a matter of going towards the other flank and trying to take down enemy tanks that would still be camping. Like this OI experimental right here. Well, this shot is almost never going to bounce. And the tank almost filled up the whole of his aiming circle, so missing the tank as well would have been really hard. But luckily he does hit him. And he does penetrate. He does have a second shot, and he ammo wrecks him again. Second ammo wreck of the game, no problem whatsoever. So at this point, his team has won both flanks, and there's only enemy KV-1S left, who is going to get taken out by this KV-1 and the rest of his team that are going to snipe in here. So this is pretty much the end of the game, as we can see. Very good damage total for Mr. Bumble Blue. Let's go and take a look at the post-game statistics. So it's very nice to see that Mr. Bubble Blue got an ace tanker here. In my opinion, he played really well this game. But there is one thing that caught my eye, and that is the ammunition loadout that Bubble Blue chose to get on his KV-3. I don't know if 30 rounds is the maximum capacity of the KV-3, but if it is, I'm going to give you my recommended ammo loadout. So first of all, I see that you don't have any premium shells. I don't know if you don't have premium shells because you can't afford them, or if you're just too lazy to put them in. But as the KV-3 can still get in tier 9 matchups, 
and the standard penetration is only 175, it would be pretty handy in my opinion if you could bring some premium rounds in your tank. You've also got a lot of uh, high explosive shells, and although I recommend that you always bring a few high explosive shells, 10 is far too many. For instance, if you're fighting against an E75, there's no way you're penetrating that tank. But the E75 is in the cap and you have to try and reset it. You can of course fire a high explosive shell at the E75 and reset the cap. So what I would recommend you to do is take 3 high explosive shells. Next I would recommend to bring 7 to 10 premium shells in the KV-3. The additional shells will be normal AP shells. What also caught my eye is something that is really good. I saw that you were bringing a med kit, a repair pack and a fire extinguisher. Most of the players that I know that haven't been playing for very long don't even have any med kits, repair kits or fire extinguishers mounted on their tanks. So I do have to give you a compliment on that. So Mr. Bubble Blue, that's pretty much all the advice I wanted to give you. I also have to say that Mr. Bubble Blue has been a very supportive subscriber and that I am very lucky to have such viewers. Thank you so much for sending in your replay Bubble Blue. I hope I made this video enjoyable to watch, not only for you, but also for the rest of my subscribers and viewers. If this video sparked your interest in sending in a replay yourself, I will show you in the screen right now what you need to do to send in your replays. But for now, I hope this video was enjoyable to watch. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time in making this video. Also subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!